In this video, you're going to learn how to identify outliers, treat outliers that both visually and on Python. Hey, but before we go there, my name is Kunal Naik. I'm the founder of Data Science Masterminds and I'm on a mission to help you learn and apply data science effectively to grow in your career and to get that dream job. So please hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So let's dive in. Now I have with me a HR data set where I have department, region, education, gender, and various other variables to predict whether or not somebody is going to get promoted or not. And this is a classification problem as you have already guessed. And so now first what we're going to do is identify one column and we're going to choose the age column, which is a continuous variable, which is the best example we can carry out for outliers. So I'm going to take this age variable and identify first the outlier concept, treat it on Excel and implement the same thing on Python. So let's see how we can do that on Excel first. So I'm going to go to the age column here and I just pasted this entire column here, which is roughly around uh, 54808 rows. Now I have to go back and I have to treat it in such a way that the outliers are removed. But first we need to know if there are outliers. To identify outliers, we have a box, box plot that we can use to show whether there are outliers or not. And so it's called a box and viscous plot. So let's do a box and viscous plot here, insert. And I went to the, you know, the insert, clicked on this particular button and went on the box and viscous chart. So I got this chart with me and this particular chart is untreated. Okay, so I'm going to rename this to H untreated. Okay, so as you can notice here, you'll see that this particular, the one that is available here, this particular one is going to be called as the lower whisker okay and similarly this one is going to be called as the upper whisker now we need to uh, calculate a lot of these details to get this in this chart it's it's you know calculating and getting you all of this the idea is here is to now work on these outliers now they may exist above the upper whisker or sometimes they may exist below the the lower whisker here or here and so the idea here is to remove the outliers and then you know treat them either with the mean median or we can even treat it with the upper whisker value or the lower whisker value but for that we need to calculate the upper whisker and lower whisker so let's see how we can do that now we're going to use the quartile function in Excel to calculate this. Now in Python, it's going to be called as quantile. Here it's called as quartile. It's one of the same thing, but to achieve that, first we need to calculate the Q1 and the Q3, okay? So for that, we are going to do quartile and I'm going to say including. I'm going to choose the entire age array here and say comma the first quartile. Now the easier way instead of selecting A to do this, I can go here and go to formulas and say create from selection and say top row, which essentially created an age column. And I can now choose to type age here and it will give me the same result. So instead of selecting the column, I can just type it down here. So I'm going to say again quartile, I'm going to say age comma and then going to say three close the bracket so now i have q1 and q3 available the next part is calculating the interquartile range and it's going to be q3 minus q1 right so i'm just going to indicate it here q3 minus q1 is what it's going to be the formula here now we need to calculate the lower whisker and the upper whisker and for our reference i'm also going to just do the minimum 
of h is equal to maximum of h also right i will show you why that why we do this particular case now to calculate the lower whisker what we're going to do is take the quartile one and subtract 1.5 times the iqr so it's going to be looking something like this i'm going to take the q1 value okay subtract 1.5 times the interquartile range here and i'll say enter here right so it's going to be q1 minus 1.5 times iqr okay many of many of them get confused whether it's iqr minus 1.5 q1 or it is or is it q1 minus 1.5 into q uh, iqr right so it's definitely q1 take this point and then you go backwards from that 1.5 times of the qr next the same formula we're going to apply again now i'm going to say this time q3 minus one sorry plus plus is going to be 1.5 times the interquartile range okay so that's the formula and i'm just going to copy this it's going to be q3 plus this part of it so we have this and as you can see here the, the lower whisker is 40 which is this particular value and beyond that there are no values so minimum value is 20 which means 20 is very well above the lower whisker okay so you know it's it's indicated here but it should be 14 some somewhat here and the lower whisker is uh, generally present here and uh, we don't have any outliers in the lower side of it however if you can if you notice here the upper whisker is roughly around 54 that will be this point here and above that there are some values and as you can see that you know up till 60 is the maximum so the last point that is here is 60 so all of these dots are the outliers and we somehow need to we find a way to treat this particular right so there are multiple strategies you can choose either to uh, replace it by mean median mode or you can choose to replace the upper side outliers with upper whisker and the lower side outliers with lower whisker since in this case we have the uh, upper side outliers you want to treat it with just the upper whisker here and you want to do the same example on python so let's go ahead and treat this particular thing first age first so i'm going to say if the age is greater than the upper whisker f4 i can say greater than or equal to just to keep it in a consistent and then say if it is greater than or equal to the upper whisker replace it by the upper whisker at this particular point you can do mean median mode also and there are some other strategies you can also apply but for now to keep it simple you're going to just say upper whisker else just choose to keep the same value okay so do that then you can select this particular cell and just double click on this black dot such that this particular formula is applied for all the records that's available here now let's just find one value which is above 54 and see if it has replaced it by 54 so i'm just going to say find here and i'm going to say let's say 57 so it found 57 and as you can see you know it has replaced 57 with 54 that is with the upper whisker value and so this is how you identify your outliers using the interquartile range quartiles q1 and q3 and identifying their lower and upper whiskers and treating them on on a different strategy on using any different strategy either by mean median mode you want to replace it by or you just want to replace it by the upper and the lower whisker now this is how you do it using excel however let's see how we can do the same thing using python for one different feature now i've already imported the same data set i have used in excel here on a python jupyter notebook and i have called this file as the c1p1 outlier one feature 8 template so i'm going to use this template to fill how to identify and treat outliers on 
Python. So I will be mentioning or keeping this on a GitHub repository, the link of which will be in the comment section. The data also will be available in the similar GitHub location and you can download the data and this particular notebook and get started with it. So I'm just going to keep it simple. I am going to keep this outline here so that you know the steps that I'm doing to perform this particular activity. So the first objective is met. I've used uh, Excel to visually show you outliers. Next, I'm going to now, you know, do the same thing using Python packages. So I'm going to take pandas, import pandas as pd, import numpy as numpy, mp, and then I'm going to import the train and test data. For now, we are just going to take one feature from the train data. Eventually, I will go ahead and do it for all the features within a data set and then doing it for train and test and all the features within train and test that too in an automated fashion in a more uh, you know optimized way rather than going one feature at a time. So let's look at the data I'm going to look at uh, you know let's run this one import and then run train and test and I'm going to run check all of the variables you'll see I have employee ID and the age here and a lot of other variables are available. We have different float variables, which means we have good opportunities to do outlier treatment amongst all of them. Then same test info, we are going to be using it. However, just checking. Now in the train, I'm going to describe and look at the age feature. As you can see here, the stats that we saw there uh, are available. So the minimum and maximum, we got 20 and 60, the 25% quartile and the 75th quartile is available here 29 and 39 just like we had it here right so it's it's calculating these values and we have the median but the upper and lower whisker is not yet calculated right so first what we're going to do is we're going to pick this age variable and plot it I mean do a box plot on top of it right so I'm going to say train open close bracket and uh, we're going to say age dot plot dot box and close the bracket here and say run. So if you run this, you'll get a plot and this is a default library used in pandas to plot uh, to create plots. It's just simple and effective. So that's how we use this particular library. So as you can see, same plot, you know, we have the 20 here and we have this uh, 54 here and these outliers are available right so just to reiterate you know we have outliers towards the end of it and towards the upper side of it also this is going to be the upper whisker which is calculated by getting q3 plus 1.5 times the iqr and similarly the min the lower whisker is q1 minus 1.5 times the iqr right so that's the two formulas as you can see, Q1 and Q3 is here, median is here, and Q3 minus Q1 is the interquartile range, right? So next, we're going to calculate the upper and lower whisker. For doing that, first we need to calculate Q1. So Q1 is equal to, I'm going to say train and say age here dot, I'm going to say quant so this quantile available here and it's going to be at the rate of 0.25 okay so it's going to be quantile at the rate of 1 to 5 similarly I'm going to copy this and I'm going to get the 0.75 here right so if I run this I should be at getting 29 and 39 which is what we have in this particular Place and this particular place, right? So 25 percent quantile and 75th quantile. And notice here we use quantile in Excel, it's quartile, okay? Means the same, I don't know what's the difference, but that's how it is in Python. So the IQR is then simple, it's Q3 minus Q1. So IQR is equal to Q3 minus Q1. If you run that, it's going to be like 10, which is the same thing we have here. Next, now to the lower whisker and the upper whisker, right? So the lower whisker formula is Q1 minus 1.5 to RQR. 
we'll say minus 1.5 times IQR and similarly the upper whisker is going to be copy that paste it it's going to be Q3 plus 1.5 times uh, IQR so if I do that it's going to be 14 and 54 just like we have it here okay next now this is the treatment part of it now it wrote a formula here right if you know this particular value is greater than the upper whisker then replace it by the upper whisker value that is a formula we need to write here within python and that can be written using a apply and lambda combination right so for that we just require the the train column here and i'm going to take train column i'm going to say is equal to train column dot apply now we, this is where we are write writing the equal to formula here right so i'm going to say equal to and then write this particular formula here uh, with the help of the lambda function obviously i'm going to say lambda right lambda x is going to be the upper whisker right if 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 x is greater than or equal to the upper whisker right else it's going to be the x value so this formula that we wrote here is written like this in python so it says lambda x is the upper whisker if x is greater than the greater than or equal to the upper whisker else it's just going to be the x value Similarly, much more easier to treat the lower whisker in Python. We can just simply say, you know, the lower whisker. So I'm going to say if x is lower whisker, if x is less than or equal to the lower whisker, else it's going to be x, and I'm going to run this code. Now we don't see any changes here. However, if we take the age column and plot it again, notice we replaced this particular formula in the same column. In Excel, we created another column to, to do this activity, but in Python, we replaced it on top of the train column itself. So, ideally, you should be plotting the same variable again. You will see all of that outliers are removed, and now we have a feature that does not have any outliers on Python. Our job is not yet done. We need to do this for all the features. So, do watch that video after this particular video.